This is how you can code an unban and ban command for your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be starting off with the ban command. So we can go to moderation. We can go ahead and type ban.js. Now keep in mind, if you want to use this handler or use it like I do, go ahead and watch the video in the description below. If not, just use the bulk of the code in your own handler and it will work fine. So we can do const slash command builder equals require and we'll do at discord js slash builders and we can say const embed builder and we can do permissions bit field and then we can do equals require and we'll do discord.js we can then come down here and say module.exports equals and we'll open this up we can say data and we'll say new slash command builder we can do dot set name and this will be ban we can do dot set description and here we can say this bans a user and we can add a user so we can do add user option do option arrow function option dot set name and we can do user do dot set description and this will be the member you want to ban we can do dot set required and this will be true we can do add string option and this will be option arrow function option dot set name and in here we'll do reason do dot set description and this will be the reason for banning the member then we can do dot set required in here we can do true we can add a comma come down here and say async executes we'll do our interaction and then we can go ahead and open this up we're going to go ahead and get the users so we can do const users equals interaction dot options dot get user and we'll do user we'll say const id equals user dot id we can say const ban user equals client dot users dot cache dot get id so this is basically going to allow us to ban anyone, even if they're not in the server. So this is very useful. Now we can go ahead and get a permission check. So we can do if interaction.member.permissions.has and we'll do permissions bitfield.flags.ban members. We can just return with interaction.reply and we'll say content. In here we can say you must have the ban members permission to use this command. And we can make this informal, E-P-H-E-M-E-R-A-O, just like that. We'll set that to true. We can then do if interaction.member.id equals 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 id. We can do return await interaction.reply. We'll say content, and we'll say you cannot ban yourself. We can come down here and say let reason equals interaction.options.getString. And we can say reason just like that. And we're going to say if no reason, we will just do reason equals no reason given. Then we're going to make our DM embed and our actual embed. So we can do const DM embed equals new embed builder. We will do set color and we can make this blue or whatever color you would like. We can do dot set description and I'm going to do white check mark. I'm go ahead and say you have been banned from we can go ahead and bold this we'll say interaction.guild.name we can finish that bolding and do a pipe and we'll pass in our reason and we can go ahead and actually copy this embed but we are going to go ahead and change a few things so we can say embed and we can go ahead and just remove all of this we can say ban user tag has been banned we can go ahead and pass in our reason just like this now we can actually go ahead and ban the members so we can do await interaction.guild.bans.create in here we can do ban user.id and then we can do reason as well we're going to go ahead and catch an error so we can do catch error open this up and say return interaction dot reply we'll say content and we can say i cannot ban this member we can also make this informal just like this we can go ahead and send the message to the user so we can do await ban user dot send and we'll say embeds and we'll do dm embed we can then do catch error we can go ahead and open this up we can then just return here we can then go ahead and send the message in the channel so we can do it with interaction to reply and we'll do embeds and our embed so that's all we're going to go ahead and do for the ban command so now we can go ahead and move on to the unban command so just go ahead and copy this all of this and we can go into moderation again and we will do unban.js go ahead and paste everything in here and we're going to go ahead and change a few things so we can say unban and here we can say this unbans a user and we will change this to the reason for unbanning the member. So we can go ahead and actually remove all of this and we can just change this to user ID. Then right here we can do user ID. We're going to go ahead and remove that DM embed. So right here we're going to do the arrow, we're going to do at, we're going to open this up and we're going to say user ID. So we're actually going to ping the member and then we're going to do has been unbanned. We can do a pipe and we can also pass in the reason. Now we're going to go ahead and remove everything except for the interaction.reply. We can then do await interaction.guild.bans.com fetch then right here we can do dot then we can do async bands arrow function and open this up we can say if bands dot size equals equals zero we'll return with interaction dot reply we can say contents and in here we'll say there is no one band from this guild 
and we can make this infernal just like this. We're gonna then say let band ID equals bands dot find and we'll do band arrow function band dot user dot ID equals equals user ID. Then we're gonna go ahead and say if no band ID, we can go ahead and return wait interaction dot apply and we'll say content. And in here we can say the ID stated is not banned from this server. And we can also make this infernal by doing true just like that. Lastly, we can go ahead and remove the ban. So we can do wait interaction dot guild dot bans dot remove. In here we can do user ID and we can do reason. And we can just go ahead and catch error. And we can just go ahead and return a wait interaction dot apply. And here we can say content and we'll say I cannot unban this user. Just go ahead and remove the await. I forgot you can't do it in here. And that's all we're gonna go ahead and do for both the unban and ban command. One more thing I forgot to do is we are gonna go ahead and define client in both of these commands. So in here, we're gonna go to ban and we're just gonna go ahead and pass in client. We're also gonna go ahead and do this in the unban as well, just in case so we can pass in our client just like that. Now we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. Over in the Discord server, we can run our ban command. We can just get me and we can pass in our reason. And as you can see, it's gonna say you cannot ban yourself. I did mess that up quite a bit. Now we can go ahead and try to ban a member. So we can go ahead and run a slash ban. We can go ahead and get the member we're gonna ban. And we can go ahead and pass in a reason. As you can see, it's gonna go ahead and ban that member. It's gonna say that that person has been banned for test. Now we can actually go ahead and test out the unban command. So we can run unban. We can go ahead and pass in the user ID that we just banned, and we can say test as well. And as you can see, it's gonna say that that user has been unbanned. Um, I guess this is a little bit out of date. Just go ahead and remove the arrows and the at sign, and this will work fine. All right, so now we're actually gonna go ahead and test banning this person if they're not in the guild. So we can do slash ban. We can go ahead and pass in the user ID, and we can say testing again. As you can see, it's gonna ban that member. Right before, we just unbanned that person and now we banned them, so they should still be banned in the guild and as you can see, they are. Just for good measure, I'll go ahead and unban that person. And as you can see, I have unbanned the member, so if we go back into the guild bans, as you can see, that member is no longer there. One more thing for both of these commands, I did set required to true for the reason option on both the ban and unban. You do not have to do that, you can just set this to false or remove the set required if you do not want that to be there because we did make a check down here. And with that, we are actually done with the ban and unban command. So if you need any help, go ahead and join the server in the description below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.